Hello everyone, hope you are well. On a Tuesday evening, there's a lot of stories, a lot of noise and flack out there in the media that's just total BS, busy stuff that's going to distract you from the stuff that is important. I had to search to find what I really wanted to talk about. I mean, I know it's out there. I know what's going on, but I just like to, to read over different things, different sources from all over. And it's not easy to find. Uh, there's so many stories out there about just the hot topics, celebrities, sports, these award shows. I don't care. Don't care one iota. Never do. Never did. But embedded in all these, all the noise and all the stuff is, guess what? Inflation just keeps rising. The big pain, the big hurt is here. And it's getting a lot worse. It's going to be worse. Uh, you know, I think prices a month or two from now uh, will make you make it look like what you're seeing out there now is cheap. I really do. Uh, we really need to buy what we can now. Stock up now if you are at all able to do so. Okay. U.S. inflation rose again. Of course, we knew that was coming. 8.5% uh, is what they're putting out there. Of course, feels a lot heavier than that. Uh, the 8.5% in March, highest rate since 1981 when Jimmy Carter was uh, given away to Reagan, the Reagan administration. I think I was like a sophomore in high school. That was a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago. Um, they're going to blame it on Ukraine, Russia war. Total BS. We know that. This trend has been going on for a while. They've been calling it everything but real. You know, they've been calling it transitory and good for this, good for that, it's temporary, it's going to get better, we're going to do this and that. Total BS, of course. The expectation is, is uh, also there that the Fed will raise interest rates next month, so expect that. Rising energy prices are a big deal. Uh, the cost of rent, gas, food, really hitting people hard, especially the lower income and the middle class. Big time, big time hit, big time pain, y'all. It's just going up too. It's just going to keep going up. Somebody's getting rich off of this. You know they are. I mean, are the food, are the, are the CEOs going to take less money? Are the prices going to come down? Oh, no. Oh, no. They're going to keep going up. Keep inching up ever so slightly. We're changing our strategy of buying things. I'm going to get to that here in a second. Uh, used cars gone up 40%, y'all, 40, 40%. That's crazy. That is crazy. I don't know what people are doing. I really don't. I feel, we feel very fortunate that we bought our house years ago before all this, and even our automobiles, before all this really started ramping up. Cause we wouldn't be able to do it now. We really wouldn't be able to. Oil is back up to $100 a barrel, and that'll increase, of course. Again, buy what you can now, three to five extra things when you go to the store. If you're able, of course, everybody's situation is different, okay? But I recommend three to five extra items, whether that's canned, whether that's whatever prep uh, that you, you know, have a hole in that you really need. We're stocking up on canned meat. That's what we're really, really focusing on. Uh, we don't have livestock. Um, you know, vegetables we're not worried about. We're going to grow our own. You know, so that's not a problem. But we're we're really focusing on canned meat. All right, we're shifting our grocery buying here. Uh, what we have traditionally been doing is uh, we usually do most of our our shopping, grocery shopping at Kroger. Now, where we live, it's a little different. We don't have Costco. We don't have Sam's uh, in the vicinity. All right. Um, we have Kroger. 
we have uh, Publix, and we have an Aldi. All right. What we've been doing is doing most, the great majority at Kroger, uh, 80 to 90 percent at Kroger. And Aldi, maybe 10, 15 percent max, because there's certain things there we like, all right, that we really favor. We're flipping that. We're going back to the, the Great Recession kind of buying, all right? Um, even though it's just the two of us here, uh, we started this last week in earnest. We've been leaning that way, doing more and more, but we've done a total flip now. We're doing between 80 to 90 percent of our buying at Aldi and 15 to 20 percent at Kroger. And we may even go higher than that, you know, higher on the Aldi, lower on the, on the Kroger. The difference is significant. We're, we're comparing receipts, okay? Yes, Aldi prices are going, have gone up too. They have, and they probably will continue just like everybody else. However, you compare, and, and we were looking at it, it's still cheaper, it's still significant difference, okay? Uh, so that, uh, you know, it's really significant. So we're going to continue that. It's really making a difference. Check Dollar Tree. We have one here close by too. We have Dollar Generals all over the place out here, of course. Dollar General, Dollar Tree. Not everything's a deal now at these places now, but you can find them. Uh, and if it's a deal, stock up a bit on them, all right? Uh, energy costs are, are going to be, I think, a killer thing too. Besides food, used cars, and that kind of thing, uh, we're heading into a summer and it's going to get hot, depending on the climate you're in. Running that AC, that's going to that's gonna get you too. It's going to bite you right in the rear end. All right. And Lord, help us when the winter rolls around again next winter. Because the way things are going, and if this, you know, things don't change, uh, it should be very interesting to say the least. All right. Um, so, uh, again, you know, stock up where you can, save where you can, where we are not throwing stuff out. Let, you know, if we can use anything, uh, it's leftover food, that's, that's bottles, that's jars, anything that we can reuse, save for later, do it. All right. Um, let's be smart about our buying and every dollar we spend. All right. Um. Uh, we really need to share what you're doing. If you've changed your habits, if you've changed your spending, your saving significantly, share that. It may help somebody else as well. All right. Uh, all right. I am going to read a verse for the day. It's a good one, of course. Uh, we are in Holy Week. Uh, this verse is from Luke 19, verse 39 through 40, says... Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. I tell you, he replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. Amen. You look at nature, look at the mountains, and tell me there is no God. I'll wait. Amen. Again, Share your thoughts. Be aware. Let's be safe out there. God bless y'all. I'll see you soon.